What's up fellas, my name is Ben and today I am bringing you the ultimate FPS boosting guide. If you don't know what FPS is, it is the rate of how many frames appear on the screen per second. Are you wondering if your FPS is good? Some games like League of Legends or Minecraft have built in FPS counters, but some don't. If you would like to see what FPS you are getting in games that don't have a built in counter or you don't know where to find it, download Fraps with the link in the description and the program will have a live FPS counter while gaming. Here's the scale to see if your FPS is good or not. 30 or less FPS is bad, 30 to 60 FPS is good, 60 or more FPS is excellent. If you plan on improving your FPS to get into the good or excellent ranges, I'm going to show you how. FPS is mainly determined by two things, RAM and video cards. First we will start with your RAM, or random access memory. If you don't know how much RAM your computer has, go to Start, Computers, Property, and in the system info, it will show you how much installed memory or RAM your computer has. Certain computers can only have a certain amount of RAM, based off of the motherboard. If you have 4 gigabytes or less of RAM and you plan on being a serious PC gamer, I recommend upgrading if possible. RAM comes in many different types, so what you will need to do is go on over to Crucial.com and download their system scanner. This program will scan your computer and come back with the results of the type of RAM your computer has, how much you currently have, and what your motherboard can support. If you don't want to download this program, search on the internet or through your manual to find the maximum RAM that can be allocated to your computer. If you plan on upgrading, check for the lowest price online. You can use any site like Crucial, Newegg, Tiger Direct, or Amazon because they are all popular online computer part websites. And make sure the RAM will fit your computer. That is one of the most important parts if you are buying new RAM. RAM also controls the processes running in your computer. Type the combination of Control, Shift, and Escape to open up the task manager. Check the running processes here. You should see a long list of every process that is currently running on your computer. You can either select these one by one and end the process or let a program do it for you. The program we are using is called Razer Game Booster and there's a link in the description for download. And this can end multiple processes on your task manager at once. Sign up with an account and you will see games that are currently on your computer. If there are games you don't see, you can either click the add button and search for them or drag the game icon into the program. Now click on the Boost Settings button. Check off any processes that you would like to close, and then when you are done, click Apply. If you would like to turn gaming mode on, you can do so even when you're not gaming. This will end all other processes while you browse the internet, watch movies, etc. This program won't catch all of the processes, so double check in your task manager for processes that are still running. This will significantly boost your FPS and PC performance. Let's talk about the drivers of the video card, or graphics card. Having updated drivers is essential to gaming performance. There are two main brands I will cover, NVIDIA and AMD. There are links in the description for each of the support drivers. To check to see what type of graphics card your computer has, go to Start and search for Device Manager. And now look under Display Adapters. This will show you your current graphics card. Now that you know which type of graphics card you have, go on the site provided and find the current drivers. Download it and install. You will need to restart your computer. Now this may not work for everyone, so just keep that in mind. If you want to go more in depth, you can change the graphic settings within the software that the company provides. AMD, for example, has a link to the program to change the settings where you search for your drivers. Go to Start and search for Add or Remove Programs and uninstall any program that you wish. Keep in mind that if you don't know what the program is, you probably shouldn't install it. If it's anything from Windows or Microsoft, keep it there. After you've done that, move on to the temp files. Deleting your temp files is important, as they were temporary files created at the time they were being used. To locate these, go to the Start menu and search for a percent temp percent. Select all with Control A and then delete them. If an error occurs, don't panic. This just means that the file is currently being used. If you prefer to use a program to clear these files and many more, you will want to use CCleaner with link in the description. Select all files you wish to delete and then analyze and run. To go further in depth on PC performance, head on over to the Start menu and search for System Configuration. Go to the Services tab and at the bottom where it says Hide All Microsoft Services, check the box. On the right, there will be a Disable All button. Click that and then go to the Startup tab. Now, click the Disable All button again, hit Apply, and then hit OK. After that, go to the Start menu and go to Computer, Properties, Advanced System Properties, and then check the box for best performance. Now this will make your computer look a bit funky since it's an older version of Windows, but it can still run the exact same. This alone will help your FPS tremendously. Now I spent quite some time making this guide for the underdogs that are running their games on potatoes, so you're welcome. 
If this guide has helped you at all, please leave some feedback about your before and after FPS and or PC performance. If you are happy with the results, give this video a like and subscribe if you would like to see more helpful videos just like this one. I would like to thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.